Seems it's already morning I see the sky It's so beautiful and blue The TV's on But the only thing showing Is a picture of you I get up And make myself some coffee I try to read a bit But the story's too thin I thank the Lord above You're not here to see me In the shape I'm in Spending my time sống tích cực, chúng ta sẽ nhận ra rằng đứng lên được sau mỗi lần thất bại đó cũng chính là thành công. Điều quan trọng hơn là hãy ghi nhớ rằng bạn có thể làm được bất cứ điều gì bạn muốn nếu bạn nghĩ rằng bạn làm được. Chân lý đó luôn đúng trong mọi vấn đề của cuộc sống và cả chính xác hơn nữa khi áp dụng trong cơ hội kinh doanh khi hết. Nếu bạn là một thành viên, chắc chắn bạn đã nhận được vô số những lời từ chối tham gia và những công việc kinh doanh cùng với bạn. Có thể ban đầu bạn hào hứng và trân trọng nhưng số lần từ chối ngày một nhiều thêm khiến bạn nản lòng, thất vọng và bắt đầu buông xuôi tìm kiếm cơ hội khác. Nhưng sẽ thật thú vị nếu bạn có đủ tích cực để nhận ra rằng những lời từ chối đó đôi khi lại chính là động lực để bạn cố gắng nhiều hơn nữa, trau dồi rèn luyện nhiều hơn nữa và bạn tiếp tục nỗ lực, cam kết làm việc nhiều hơn nữa. Khi đó, chắc chắn tự nhiên công việc sẽ thuận lợi và trôi chảy đến bất ngờ. Sống tích cực không phải là một điều khó nhưng đòi hỏi bạn phải cố gắng liên tục hãy học cách duy trì thái độ sống nhiệt tình nhìn mọi việc lạc quan tích cực để giảm căng thẳng trong công việc để hiểu được giá trị bản thân và vững vàng mỗi khi gặp khó khăn 
giữ được thái độ sống tích cực, tâm hồn bạn sẽ tươi trẻ hơn, trái tim bạn sẽ nhân ái hơn và thành công sẽ tự tìm đến với bạn. Hãy dũng cảm lựa chọn thái độ sống cho mình và đón nhận vòng nguyệt quế vinh quang huyền thoại. Same here today. Jack, where is the opportunity? I don't have a job. I don't have this. I don't have that. I remember 20 years ago, I, I hated Bill Gates. I say he took all the job, you know. He's a, such a great. And Larry Page, Bill Gates, and every success people, they did it good. And why I didn't have this chance? The same question like you. And later I calmed down myself. And luckily, I win. I tell you, I'm lucky to know a lot of famous people. Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Jack Welch, Larry Page, Mark Zuckerberg. I know all of them. I would like to share with you that those people, the difference between those people and other people, they are always optimistic for the future. They never complain. They always try to solve the problems of the others. And I think where is the opportunity? The opportunity li always lies in the place where people complain. Some people sit there complain, you think, mm, if I can solve that complaint, that's the opportunity. That's what I did. And I think 1994, 1995, so many people in China want to sell things abroad. But there's no place because the big business can go to the trade fair, Las Vegas fair, and Germany fair. Small business, they don't have opportunity. So they complain, we, we want to go to trade shows, but they cannot get visa, they don't have money, they don't have a relationship. So I think if internet can help this small business, it will be great. But nobody would believe it. Why internet can help? Well, I said, if, if something, everybody believe it. Everybody love it. Forget about it. That's not your opportunity. Because where everybody agrees why this opportunity should be yours. Because a lot of people don't agree with it. And you think this is good. Think carefully and find a group of people working together. And making sure the people working with you together believe the dreams. Whether investors believe in this or not, whether your friends believe it or not, whether your parents believe it or not, that's not important. You believe it. Your team believe it. And work day and night on this. That's how the things happen. Right. My investor did not, in after 10 years they invested us. They still don't know what I'm doing. Honestly, people say, well, you, Jack, you have such so many great investors. Yeah, they are great because they believe Jack Ma can do something. But what exactly he's doing, they probably don't understand. But we have to know. We know the only thing I tell you guys, for the first three years, we do not have even one dollar revenue from our business. But why it keeps us going ahead, going forward? Because I received lots of email of thanks 
from the customer. They say, this is such a great thing. If you can keep on doing that, we cannot pay you, but this thing helped us. If you keep on helping us, one day you will be successful. And I believe this. And I want people here to let you know that we are at the best time of this century. The first technology revolution, the steam, the water, right, in the UK, very successful after 50 years. The second technology revolution is called uh, energy revolution, electricity. After 50 years, electricity was founded. Business booming. Internet has only for 20 years. The next 30 years is the best time for us, for our young people. We are all lucky. We are only, we are only like 20, 30 years old. The next 30 years, the best time. The last 20 years is the time I call information technology. That's the IT. IT is to make, your, make the big company getting bigger and stronger. And IT is to make yourself stronger. IT is trying to get something for you. But now we are entering into the new period which I call the data technology. The data technology is do totally opposite of IT. IT is I have, you don't have. DT is you have it, I don't have it. I don't have to have it. DT is about a sharing. DT is about take responsibility. DT is about a passion for the future. So we are coming into the next 30 years of data technology period, which your parents may not like it, which your friends may not like it. But if you believe the next 30 years is the wonderful period for us, and by the way, at the DT period, everybody is the same. Because we are stuck from the same line. Nobody is the expert of DT. There are a lot of experts of IT. They may be in trouble. So, what I would say, the best, the best assets you have is that you are young. Don't complain. Let the other people complain. Those people complain, those people who still. And do not always say, well, I don't have. Think about how you can make things different. Use your own brain to think. Lastly, I want to share you, I learned my English. I learned how to think use my own brain. When I was young, I went to Hangzhou West Lake. You know, we have a West Lake. There's a hotel. Many foreign visitors visit there. And I went there every morning, 5 o'clock, to practice my English. The foreign visitors come, I practice my English. I don't know why at that time. But I found everything the foreign visitors told me are so different from the things my parents told me, my teacher told me, and the newspaper I read. So since then, I think everything used my own brain to think about. It. Is that true? Is that an opportunity inside? Is there anything I can do that make the difference? Think about this. And then when you think about this, start to do it. I saw a lot of people, young people, have fantastic ideas every evening. But in the morning, they go to the office same again. Make the move. Make the action. To everybody, to any person, tomorrow is new. And believe one thing, this is also another last advice I want to give you. You have to work very hard. Right? Either work for the others or work for yourself. And I choose the way, work my, for myself. But working for myself, that means working for the society. If you really want to work for yourself, think about the others. The day DT time, making sure you help others. Because only when the other, ha other people are successful, when the other people are happy, you will be successful, you will be happy. Thank you very much.